run victory against Scotland at Durham to go top of Group B. Scotland dismissed for 167 in the 39th over. It could have been far less than that. Earlier Pakistan, who'd struggled in the morning, 92 for 5 at one stage, but eventually 261 for 6. The Scots knew what they were doing when they put the Pakistanis into bat this morning. If the toss had gone the other way, it could have been a very embarrassing day for the Minnows. As it is, they can look back at least on a creditable bowling performance. In fact, they made a very promising start. When Salim Malik was trapped by Gavin Hamilton to leave the Pakistanis at 60 for four, an upset seemed possible. The gulf between the sides there really began to show itself when the boys in blue came up against genuine pace. First blood to Akram. And Shoaib Akhtar also showed just why he's become one of the most feared quickies in international cricket. Akhtar struck again minutes later. Ian Phillip caught right in front to a snorting delivery. And Captain George Salmon didn't last much longer. Akhtar by now in full flight. But Wasim wasn't to be outdone. Ian Stanger completely beaten by the movement. But once the Pakistanis dispensed with their pace attack, the Scots began to look a little more comfortable. And a cavalier knock from Gavin Hamilton brought his side respectability. But the Pakistanis never looked like losing control, despite Akhtar's blisters. So another victory and a step nearer the Super Six for Wasim Akram's side. Pete Bracklough, Skyners.